Oh, good, you're here. Oh, I've got a surprise for you. I've got some friends I'd like you to meet. I told them you were coming, so they've promised to stop by. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet them. My goodness, I haven't even told you who you're going to meet. Maybe I should let it be a surprise. No, I'm not good at keeping secrets. You're going to get to meet the Vowell family children. Oh, this is a fascinating family. One of the extraordinary things about them is that there are five sets of twins. Can you imagine? Five different sets of twins in one family. Each set of vowel twins has a long and short sound. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of them before, but you've never seen them as they are today. In fact, they're going to tell you all about themselves. The long and short vowels are really good friends to have. It's important for you to know them and the sounds they make. Sometimes they can help you out of confusing situations. Have you ever been trying to read something only to have problems pronouncing some of the words? Now, of course, you're familiar with the consonant sounds. You've been doing very well with them. But sometimes vowels can be tricky. You do know which letters are vowels, don't you? Of course, A, E, I, O, and U. That's easy enough. But remember, vowels can make several different sounds. Deciding which sound to use can be confusing if you're trying to pronounce a new word. How do you know which vowel sound to use? <laughs> That's not an easy question to answer. That's why my friends are coming here today. They want to give you a few suggestions which should help you in decoding or pronouncing new words. Their suggestions will help you with the long and short vowel sounds. Everyone can use help. Sometimes I need a little help myself. Oh, 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 wait. I think I hear our friends coming now. Yes, I was right. Here they are. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, I'm so glad you could come. I've been telling the children all about you. Oh, and they're very anxious to meet you. Oh, wait. It's much too confusing trying to meet all of you at once. Why don't you introduce yourselves in pairs and then tell us about yourselves. We want to go first. Well, well, no, you always get to go first. You should let someone else go first this time. Well, it simply stands the reason that we should go first. After all, we're the first letter of the alphabet. In fact, you can't even start naming the letters without calling our name. I'm Abel, long A. And Aunt Alice, short A. We're the A twins. As you can see, we're not identical twins. My brother Long A is much taller than I. And besides, he's a boy, and you can see I'm a very beautiful girl. We also make different sounds. Since I'm Long A, I make the long sound of A. Do you know what? As if I'm saying my name. For example, in the word eight, I proudly say A. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you, big brother. Now let me tell you about my sound. Short A makes a different sound from long A. I sound as if I am going to sneeze. I think it's because I have a lot of allergies and I'm always going around at you. Listen to my sound in these words. At, ask, and here I am in the middle of a word. Oh, yes, Alice. I think I can. Abel and Alice, thank you for telling us about yourselves. For our next vowel sound, I'd like to introduce another set of twins, the E-twins. Thanks, Katie. It's nice to be here, and it's certainly nice to meet all of you. I'm Eli Long E. I'm Alice Short E. We're the E-twins. 
us and we appear in more words than any of the other vowels. A may be the first letter of the alphabet, but we are used most often. Haven't you ever watched Wheel of Fortune? I'm Eli Long E. Let me tell you a little more about myself. I say my name. Listen, me, he, she, we, and be. Can you hear me saying my name? Of course you can. I have a very distinguished sound. Now, I'll let you hear from my sister, Ellen Short E. Thanks, Eli. One, two, one, two. Exercise, exercise, exercise. I'm Short E. I make the S sound you hear in the word exercise. I'm heard in more such as egg, bread, help, tail, let, and so on. In fact, my short E sound is so popular, I could go on forever. Remember, my sound is the air sound you hear in exercise. Well, guess I better get back to it. My exercise, I mean. See you later. One, two, one. Thanks, Eli and Ellen. Oh, Ellen, by the way, you look like you're already in great shape. Keep it up. Next, I'd like for you to meet the I twins. Here's Ivan Long I and Ingrid Short I. Come on up. Hi, Katie and boys and girls. It's nice to meet all of you. Well, as you can tell, I'm Ivan Long I. I say my name when I appear in words. Listen. I, I'll, ice. Do you hear me saying my name? Well, of course you do. Don't I have a very impressive sound? Idea. I'm Ivory. Thanks, Ivan. Of course we hear you, but now it's my turn. Hello, I'm English, short I. I make the is sound you hear in in, is, if, into, it, and itch. I'm sure you've seen me a great deal in your reading. E may be a popular letter, but we make quite a few appearances ourselves. Well, well, got to run. Bye, Katie. Bye, Ivan and Ingrid. Thanks for stopping by. Next, I'd like to introduce Long O, Owen, and Short O, Olive. Hi everyone, we're the old twins. I'm Owen. I'm Olive. Do you hear the long O sound in my name? Listen. Owen, do you hear me make my O say his name? Of course you do. O is a very neat letter. We look the same whether we're upside down or right side up. We also look the same from the front or the back. You can hear me in words like open, over, obey, or Ohio. Your turn, Olive. I'm Olive Short O. I make the ah sound you hear in words like not, high, got, top, and so on. Look for me as you read. Thanks, twins. You have neat sounds. Finally, I'd like for you to meet the U twins, Ulysses and Umber. Hi, we're the U twins. Katie, Katie, Katie. Hello, I'm Ulysses Long U. Whenever I appear in a word, I make the long U sound. I'm in such words as music, ukulele, menu, unit, and unilateral disarmament. Can you hear me saying my name? I hope so, because I like to say it a lot. Sure, we can hear you saying your name. We hear you very well, Ulysses. You have a nice sound. As for me, I make the uh sound in my name, Umber. Can you hear it? I'm heard in words such as up, us, ugly, and under. Well, got to run. See you later. 
Bye. Thanks, everyone. Oh, I appreciate your stopping by. Thanks. Katie, we, we just have... thought of something we need to tell the children. Of course, girls, go right ahead. There is a rule that will help you know when to use our sound. Whenever a word or a syllable has only one vowel and it comes at the beginning or in between two consonants, the vowel usually stands for a short sound. For example, am, leg, is, fox, and up. That sounds really fantastic! Oh, thanks, girls. That's a good rule to remember. Do you have, boys, do you have a similar rule to help us? Yes, yes Katie. As a matter of fact, we have two. Long vowel rule number one, if a word or syllable has two vowels, the first vowel usually stands for a long sound, and the second one is silent. That means it doesn't make a sound. Oh no, let's give some examples. Rain, Jeep, Kite, Bond, and Cube. And now, for long vowel rule number two. If a word or syllable has only one vowel, but it comes at the end of a word or syllable, the vowel usually stands for the long sound. Yeah, man! As in, you know what I'm talking about, we and that wonderful Gothic word, go! You understand, Katie? Thank you very much! Oh, thanks, fellas. Those are two very good rules to remember, and they should help the children in their reading. I'm sorry you have to leave, but thanks for stopping by. See you later. See what I mean? You've never met, met the vowels as you did today. They are a fascinating family. And most of all, they've been very helpful. Remember their sounds and the handy rules they've taught us. I think you'll find reading or decoding new words a little easier now.